Yo guys, it's Enter HD here, and I got another Photoshop tutorial for you guys. So I'm gonna be making this effect. I call it the camera focus effect. Basically, the foreground is all in focus, whereas the background is all blurred out, and it really makes the foreground just stand out, uh, and it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna be using this image. It's, let's see in this new effects. Um, this image, uh, I believe, this is from. Uh, dope designs graphics pack is 1.5k graphics pack so yeah this is the image we're going to be using this is how it looks so this is the before image and this is the after image as you can see so yeah let's get cracking so I've already opened up Photoshop and uh, got the image ready you know how to do it file open open up your image whatever image you want and uh, so I'm going to be making this this whole part of the image all in focus whereas this background with the trees and this this building I don't know where it is probably in Canada because that's where dope's from and yeah so let's let's just start let's by double clicking this to make a new layer I'll just call it where is a hill and hit enter and you're gonna wanna duplicate now this this is this method I'm going to be doing is similar to another tutorial done, my first tutorial with the uh, black and white with color. It's going to have the same principle, the same idea, the same, pretty much the whole technique is pretty much the same. And what you're going to want to do, once you made that duplicated your image, if I didn't mention, you just right click that and you duplicate it. And now I've got my duplicate, make sure that's at the bottom. And what you're going to do, firstly, tick this one off, make sure you clicked on your copy and go on to filter. Blur, blur, ah. and gastrin blur. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. Blur. Now, what you're gonna want to do is say to somewhere where the image is blurry, but not too blurry. Because if you just smack on too high, it's just gonna look. It doesn't look good at all. So I'm gonna put it at about 13.9. That's all right. And hit OK. Now you're gonna do just turn back on your first layer click on that first layer and now same principle as my other one if you haven't seen it link is in the description it's basically all you got to do is rub out all the scenery you don't want so what I'm going to do is just increase my brush size make sure the hardness is down like basically minimal and just rub away now as you can see so you can start, start already seeing that the effect is occurring you can see this foreground area is already starting to stand out Compared to the background, is, I think it's just it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a great effect you can do. It just makes your pictures looks a little bit better if you got like a crap camera or something, and like you you want this kind of effect. You could always edit it like this. Mm. And if you just click, if you click your bottom layer off, you can just see what you have left. So, oops. Let me just do that again. Let me increase the hardness. Now, once you get closer to your image, let's lower the brush size. Let's just remove this kind of face. That's just helpful, like in case you've missed something, or your picture is slightly larger than mine, and stuff like you might have missed something over here or anywhere really. So let's just turn this one back on, and there you have it. Just really beautiful. Now, what you can also do. Another little tip of mine, which I've mentioned in my other one, is to overlay the first layer and just, well, just makes it look a little bit better. But I think this image already looks pretty nice, just like that, it stands out. Now I've got a couple of other examples that I've done previously, using some dope pictures. Now as you can see, this building over here is in focus, whereas the rest is is all blurred out. Now this is like an example where it's, it's not as blurred as you want it to be. So you're gonna want it a bit more blurred. Whoa, it's raining outside. Typical London weather. <laughs> and yeah, um, this one is a little bit not as blurred as you wanted. You would want. And I got another image when the scenery is a bit too much blurred. It's, it's a bit too much blurred. This would be great if you're doing like some sort of m misty effect, like smoke mist or something like that. Whoa. And yeah, um. So a bit too much. I think I had this quite high when on the Gaussian blur. I think I had it quite high, and this one's just pretty much 
right in the middle so just remember that it's 13.9 that i used for this gas stream below to have it you could change your bow it, you might like these effects i don't know but yeah hope you enjoyed that tutorial it's been enzo hd safe